What would the world look like without animals? I honestly think there would be no world. It would be so boring without animals. Well, we wouldn't have milk. What kind of question is that? Without animals, the world just couldn't exist. There were no animals. There would be no balance. They are us. We are them. Boring. Animals can sometimes make you feel happy if you're down and really fill your bucket up. Humans are animals just as equally as as these birds or as a chipmunk, and it just wouldn't. Nothing would work. We, we, it's all a big system. It's all interwoven and connected. It's not just humans. We're just a small part that's affecting so much. Every animal that becomes extinct is just one step closer to us becoming extinct. The same thing. What would the world look like, you know, without trees? Well, it would look like Alaska. We have come to a place in the world where things have evolved to be ideally uh, suited for that climate, for that environment. And the problem is, human beings are spoiling that. And animals, like children, need our protection. My name is Stanley and I'm 11 years old. When I left grade school and started homeschooling, I was offered an internship with the Begawan Foundation, a breed and release center for birds. I clean the cages, check on the birds, and I chop the food. It's important for children to connect with animals because research shows that early experiences with animals uh, has a significant effect on adult attitudes to, to animals. And so when children grow, and they become adults, their attitudes to animals are affected by what experiences they've had when they were younger. We're making the Bali starling. At my old school in Bali, I was taught to protect and preserve animals. However, this is not the case in most Indonesian schools. Indonesian culture is like any other culture. There are many Indonesian people who are very caring, uh, and do a lot of work to help animals. And, and then, of course, you have those people within Indonesian culture who, who don't have that. Every Javanese man to be successful should have a house, should have a wife, should have a kris, which is their traditional dagger, and also should have a horse and a songbird in a cage. I think there are different cultures, and of course, people in Indonesia, one of their cultures is to have songbirds in a cage. Now, individual birds can't breed. Therefore, having one bird in a cage, let's say that I don't agree with it, and what we should be doing is we should be looking at captive breeding for the songbird industry and not taking birds from the wild. So we have to respect Indonesia's culture, but not take birds from the wild. During my internship at the Begawan Foundation, we would go to Indonesian local schools in Sibang, Bali and teach them about animals so in the future they will take care of them. I created a curriculum where the children can learn how to treat animals and learn about the reason of extinction, especially from the Bali spelling, but in general as well. So we go to the school and try to get the awareness of the children that birds and animals have feeling as human as well, so they really need to treat them carefully. Let's feed them in small aviaries or cages. Give them the possibility to choose a partner to build a family, to choose their own food, and give the birds a ha more happier life than they have in a small cage. And we focus on on the reason of extinction. Why is they, why the bird is extinct or, almost? What is the the metaphor? And yeah, we try try to get their awareness that. They are not shooting the birds, they are not prepping the birds, so they got the understanding that this is an endangered bird and they need to save it. And it's the mascot of Bali and it, they need to be proud of this bird and save it and keep it for their heritage. At the Begawan Foundation, the main animal that we breed is the Bali starling, one of the rarest birds in the world. In 2001, there were only six of them left in the wild. The Bali starling is endemic only to Bali, so nowhere else in Indonesia has the Bali starling. My name is Dewa. Uh, I'm a bird keeper in Bagawan Foundation. 
in Bali, Bali Starling is almost exiting, and I care about the Bali Starling. Many people trapping, shooting, and poaching. Well, as you can see, here's the social, socialization pages, and here's the breeding pages. So in there, there um, there's birds to pair up, and then we, once they pair up, and we find out, then we put them in those pages, and then they reproduce more Bali starlings until we can set them free. About three months old, we moved it to socialization pitch, and then we release it in the bigger socialization pitch about a year old, one year old. Bego One Foundation started in 1999 and it commenced during the construction of Bego One Giri Estate. We purchased eight hectares of land here in the village of Bego One, during which time there were no birds apparent. There was a lot of poaching, a lot of shooting of birds, so we started to bring golden orioles, we started to bring uh, doves into the property, put them in an aviary, and then release them onto the property. I think the most special Bali Starling release that we've been to was when Ban Ki Moon came to our school and he did a, a Bali Starli Starling release. Uh, and I think it's a beautiful symbol of uh, freedom and starting to make a change. Um, yeah, I thought it was special. The generations before mine seemed to be distracted. Now it's our turn to focus and make a change for the better. We can make a difference because we always like to say kids might only be 25% of the world's population, but we are 100% of the future. Animals are part of the planet's, you know, diversity and the way it kind of like sustains itself. So I think if we would save the animals, it would be part of saving the planet. World without animals would be an insipid world. Most people would probably think, eh, I could live in a world without animals. Well, can we live in a world without pets? I don't think so. Without animals, um, the world would be bleak. It would be empty. It would not be the world. I think it would be a very sad place. Time to do the beatboxing parrot. You know we're gonna do a beatbox. Three, two, one, go.